The voters have spoken, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done before a community oversight board can be a reality in Nashville. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon is at the historic Metro Courthouse where people from across the city came together to discuss what's next. Emily. Well, the next step is figuring out who those 11 board members will be and making sure that they are the best possible candidates. And everyone who attended the meeting here this afternoon seemed ready to get to work to make sure this board is ready to go by the January 31st deadline. Now, the meeting was a very informal discussion between Vice Mayor Jim Shulman, other Metro Council members, city leaders, and representatives from the group Community Oversight Now. They set up a timeline for interested people to apply to be on the board and discussed how those applications will be vetted. Seven of the 11 board members will be nominated by community organizations or individuals can nominate themselves. Two of the board members will be nominated by the Metro Council and two by the mayor's office. The Metro Council will ultimately sign off on every board member. Since this is the first time Nashville has had a community oversight board, Vice Mayor Shulman says there are a lot of details to finalize just to make sure that everything moves ahead smoothly. I thought the meeting today went again very well because people were contributing you know so we were going through the process letting them know how we plan to proceed and getting comments and and good questions and good concerns and also some good ideas that will help us through the process at the next Metro Council meeting this Tuesday, Vice Mayor Shulman will announce that nominations are officially being accepted. All applicants will need to submit their name and address to the Metro Clerk's Office, and the deadline to apply is December 18th. Reporting live at the historic Metro Courthouse, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5.